Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to spice up your Figma prototypes with real audio or sound effects, you're in the right place. In today's updated 2025 tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step through the easiest way to add audio or sound to your Figma files. Whether you're looking to include notification sounds, background music, or even your own audio clips for a more interactive prototype, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how it's done. All right, let's jump straight into it. The first thing you'll want to do is open your Figma file and look toward the bottom center of your workspace. You'll notice an Actions button down there. Click on it, this is sort of like your toolbox for adding extra functionality to your projects. Think of it like unlocking secret doors in Figma that let you do way more than just designing static screens. Once you've got the Actions menu open, head over to the Plugin and Widget search bar. This is where you can look for all kinds of add-ons to boost your design workflow. Type in Sound Kit into the search bar. It's really important to get the name right or you might miss the right tool. The Sound Kit is the plugin that will let you insert sound effects and audio right into your prototype, which is perfect for things like user feedback notifications or giving your app that extra layer of realism. After you find Sound Kit in the search results, go ahead and run it. Just click to install if you haven't before or open it up if it's already installed. You'll see a new panel pop up in your workspace. This is your command center for adding sound. Here you'll notice categories for different types of audio. For example, there are hero sounds, those are the big attention-grabbing audio cues you might use for major actions. There are also alert and notification sounds, which are great if you want your app to ding, ping, or chime when a user does something important, like sending a message or receiving a new email. And of course, you'll find lots of other sound effects you can experiment with to match your project's vibe. Here's a cool feature. If you want to go beyond the built-in sound effects, you can actually add your own audio files or even videos. Just look for the audio or video button in the plugin interface and click it to upload your custom sounds. This is a fantastic option if you have a branded jingle, a voiceover, or a specific audio experience you want to demo right inside your prototype. Imagine your prototype actually talking to your client or playing a unique soundtrack. It really makes your Figma project stand out. Now there is one thing to be aware of. To make the experience smooth and unlock all these audio features in your prototypes, you're going to need to upgrade to Figma Pro. The free version allows you to design and explore, but integrating audio like this does require that Pro upgrade. If you're working as part of a team or building high-fidelity interactive prototypes, it's usually well worth it for the extra capabilities and sharing options. And that's pretty much all there is to it. With just a few clicks, you can quickly add audio or sound effects to any Figma file and really bring your prototypes to life for user testing, client DMOS, or your own creative experiments. Don't worry if it takes a moment to get used to the plugin interface. Like anything new, practice helps, and once you've tried it a couple of times, it becomes second nature. Thanks so much for following along. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give the video a like. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or run into any issues, and don't forget to subscribe for more Figma and design tutorials. See you in the next video.